And this is Weather Warrior video coming from Parham, Ohio. Tracy Malkowski showing us a bold lightning strike, and she thinks lightning hit a transformer because she saw sparks and heard a sizzle. You can send your pics or video to weatherwarriors at weather.com. Of course, this is the time of year when we see an awful lot of lightning and really do want to be careful all across the country, certainly across a lot of the south. You know, lightning continues to be one of the more enigmatic parts of the weather world. And, you know, it's only about as thick as a pencil. If you take that lightning channel, it's only about as thick as a pencil or a pen. Isn't that amazing? But it's incredibly hot, up to about 50,000 degrees or five times the temperature of the sun. And so what happens when lightning strikes is that it explodes the air around that lightning channel and the resultant shock wave coming from that exploding air is thunder. That's why you hear it something else. So let's talk about your forecast going through the next few days here and we will continue to see plenty of lightning and thunder across the southeast. A lot of wet weather here in the southeast as the front drops on down into the region and that's going to continue to be the case through the weekend. So this is actually really good news as compared to what we saw last year. Last year with the big ridge in place nothing was getting in. This year we're getting a lot of opportunity for rain and in fact parts of the Carolinas and Georgia have done really well over the last few days. Same story there in South Texas where we also really need the rain and we might get a little bit too much of a good thing there in the southwest to have flash flood watches up today in New Mexico maybe more of those tomorrow. Here's another disturbance dropping down into the upper Midwest a few showers and storms with that going into Friday we hold on to that wet weather the showers and storms here across the southeast again a lot of lightning please do be very careful make sure you're in an enclosed structure be it a car or a house something like that as long as there's no connection to the outside, you're going to be okay. Do know that lightning, by the way, when it hits the ground, can spread out as far as 60 feet on the ground, laterally. So you just.